Hey guys! So today I'm going to be setting up my February Valentine's Day setup in my traveler's notebook. Um, this is the first time that I'm going to actually set up my traveler's notebook on camera, um, which I'm a little nervous for, but I think it'll be fun to watch my whole process and how it goes. I really like to watch those videos um, of you know people going through the process of how they set up each dashboard and whatnot. So. Um, that helps me and kind of inspires me to get creative with my own setup. So I hope that you guys find this useful and enjoy watching. So let's just go ahead and get on into the video. Okay, so um, I've mentioned this in, in my channel before, but this is my traveler's notebook. I have the B6 Foxy Fix um, Sugar Coconut Traveler's Notebook, and I have a personalized embossment on the front here it's a K in rose gold and then I have the fox and pit bow in the rose gold as well I love this notebook it's so pretty I love the um, coconut leather so I have not taken out my setup from before which I'm kind of sad to get rid of because I've really been enjoying this setup I did film a video on this I didn't um, go through the process of setting it up I just did a flip through um, so I'll link that down below if you want to watch it so I'm not going to go through this whole thing so I'm just going to go ahead and um, speed up and just take all this stuff out. I'm curious if you guys will um, enjoy this kind of a setup with me actually going through and showing you my process of how I set up my Foxy Fix. You guys definitely have to let me know down below in the comments just because everyone prefers different things and um, as far as like watching videos and whatnot, sometimes I think people find this kind of monotonous and get sick of watching the person set up their notebook. So if you guys don't like this video, please let me know and I just in future will do um, flip throughs once it's already all set up. So I find them kind of fun and inspiring to watch and I'm someone who kind of likes to sit down and watch long videos um, versus, you know, like short 10 minute videos. So definitely let me know down below. And so I always go through when I'm undoing my Foxy, kind of organize it out of what I'm gonna reuse. Cause I, there's a lot of times I use the um, same acetate and like the next setup and then, you know, my inserts and stuff. So I go through and kind of organize um, of things that I'm gonna use again and then not use again. The things that I know I'm not gonna use again, I just go through and totally set to the side. That way it's kind of out of my way and organized. I definitely like to go through and organize all of my stuff. Um, before I go setting up my Foxy Fix. I just find that I, when I don't do that, I just almost have too much going on and I get overwhelmed and I almost tend to not have as cohesive as a setup because I'm just kind of throwing things in at random. Whereas if I go through and I, like I have here, I this is a stack of stuff that I want to use, which I won't use all of this, but I know it's all cohesive and works together. So then I don't have to worry about it not working at the end. I really wanted to go through and order a, re a restrap kit of a pink color for this setup, but I just ran out of time. And I thought about doing it the other day and ordering it, but it just, you know, I'm, it's already February. January went so dang fast and all of a sudden February is here. So I'm kind of bummed that I don't have a pink restrap kit, kit. I wanted to get just a, I think it's called the vintage pink. I thought that was gonna look really pretty. I might order it anyways, just, you know, I don't have to use it just for Valentine's. I love pink, so I wish I would have done that and gone on top of it and ordered the pink restrap kit. I think that would have been really pretty. So yeah, here is my empty Foxy Fix, and then here is all of the stuff that I am going to kind of put in there and get it all set up. For my first dashboard here, I'm going to use a, no surprise, Holly Nichols print. This is just a print of a girl holding some macarons, which I think is so cute. One thing I do wish is that I could customize her hair to make it blonde. On some of her prints, you can do that. I even think she has a red option sometimes, but then sometimes you just have to take what is available. And on this one, it was the brown hair girl, the brown hair girl which I do like, but I am blonde, so I typically like to um, choose blonde just because I guess that's what I am, and it's you know my personal setup. Um, but anyways, I still love this print. I think it's so cute. So there's that, and I did go ahead and trim these down just a pinch um, to make them fit in there so that it's not sticking out and so it's not, um, you know, bending that because these are five by seven, the dashboard and the 
Holly Nichols prints, so you gotta trim down just a little bit. So there's the first dashboard that's gonna be up front and center. Then on the inside of that, on the inside of that, I think I'm just gonna take this red piece of paper that I trimmed down to size, and then this was actually a part of a card, and this was the front of the card, and that was on the inside, and I actually just tore it up and trimmed it down. I use this in I don't know where I'm gonna use this yet, um, but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and washi tape this down in the center. It says, together is definitely where we belong. So happy to be sharing a lifetime of love with you. Happy Valentine's Day. I just thought it was cute. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make this secure with some washi tape. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in here. And I really don't tape things down like that securely just because I do switch these out so often and they are in a protective dashboard so I don't feel like there's a need to like go through and tape down, you know, the back of the Holly Nichols print to the red print and tape down this to the red paper. I just, you know, quickly washi it in and don't make anything too perfect. So my first insert, I always have my um, my monthly plan, weekly plan, I guess I should say. So I'll go ahead and pop that in there. And I think I'm gonna put a piece of I think I want to do. different options. Do a piece of vellum. Something really simple. Like that. Or I could do some acetate. Very simple. Or I could do the gold acetate. Which is always so cute. I think I'm gonna do that. And then for this next dashboard, what should I do is, by the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm like incredibly indecisive and never know what I want to do. So I think on the inside of this, I want it to be a little bit more simple. It's really cut up like so many different. First, I have a couple of duplicates of one, some rose gold. Some simple paper that I could do. I have this fun hot pink paper. So now the question is, what do I want to use? So this is kind of my process. I just go through and kind of lay down different papers, you know, next to things and see how I like it. Like that is just too much for me. I think it's kind of fun. So right now I'm kind of in between these two. I'm kind of thinking either this or this, which I'm almost thinking this, just because this is a little busy. And then you put those together and it's even more busy. So I think I'm gonna do this. And then I might throw in Do I want to do that? No, I don't like that actually. What do I throw in here? I have a sticker too. I really loved. Maybe I'll stick that down. A little die cut. Just super simple. Now I'm just going to take some of this washi tape and peel it off and roll this into each other and stick this down like that. That way it's not hard to get up because I do like to use these die cuts you know, over again. So I'm just gonna do super simple on the inside of this. this here. Kind of twisted there. Okay. So 
there's that. So you're gonna have that, and I like that this kind of correlates with this pink here. Okay, so now for this side of the dashboard, I think I might kind of have this cut out over here. I think I might take this and do something like that with it. This is this is just a little picture that I printed off of um, Pinterest. I just saved it and printed it off. It's just some heart balloons. I thought it would look cute in this setup. So I think I might kind of layer this a little bit here. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna use some washi tape to stick that down. I know some people cringe when they see people do this just because it's a waste of washi tape. But to me, again, I like to reuse pieces sometimes. So if I go through and stick tape down, then it's sometimes harder to get up. Or even those like dot glue things, you can use those, but a lot of them are harder to get up. There are some ones that you can kind of roll off the sticky part, but I just prefer to use washi for whatever reason. Okay. And just stick this down. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna put. That's not sticking very well. I guess I should have assumed that, huh? I was gonna print off just some sparkly paper so I didn't actually have the texture of sparkly paper. Um, but I just saw this at Michael's and it seemed a lot easier than using all my ink up to print it off. So, but it is very textured, so we'll just try and gently slip that in there. Okay, now we have that. I'm gonna go ahead and insert this first one in there. And I always like that this gold acetate shows through the back of the um, dashboards when you have it around your insert. I think that's super cute. And then I'm gonna do some pink vellum with this white polka dot acetate over it, just like that. And I like to, in between, I don't have dashboards on them, I like to use acetate because it does seem like it's a more of a protective cover than just the vellum. I notice when I use just vellum and then put it through the string, if I take it in and out, it does rip the vellum sometimes. So it's nice to have that acetate as protection. There's the next one there. And this one I'm going to use this girl right here. She just reminds me of a cute on, you know, maybe a Valentine date. So go ahead and stick that in there. And on the back of that, I'm thinking to kind of carry through some red again of using this. So I'll go ahead and stick that in here. I think that's super cute. And then this insert, I typically like to do like list inserts. And I do have two list inserts. One of them is like I use for orders that I've made, TV shows. You know, movies, I want to write down movies, books, and whatnot. So actual lists that I'll keep in my planner. So I have that. And then other lists, insert that I use, is um, more so just quick lists, grocery lists. And, you know, I'll just pull these out and go. So now on the inside of this, do I want to use... Yeah, I think I might again use... I think I might use this rose gold acetate. And this one is from the January Planner Society box. But I do like to mix metals. And this is rose gold here, so I think I'll use the rose gold polka dots there. And then on this side, I might just do something simple like this. Just use a piece of paper here. And then I might take this paper clip, kind of clip that on there and stick it in. I 
Oh, it kind of does dull the. I don't want that. Nope. I like to sometimes use stickers that are super pretty as decor more than anything. That's just a little boring to me. Okay, the saxophone plays my head. So yeah, I tend to be so indecisive. So I will just go through and like just try a bunch of different stuff. It's typically what I go through and do. It's like, you know, I'll come here and look at that. Like I know I love that. Or I come here, I'm not so sure. I would like it better if it was that more hot pink against that. It does pop a little more for sure. Okay, so I think for right now I'm going to leave this and I might come back to it if I hate it. Okay, so now on the back side here, let's see what am I going to do. This insert. I'm in no dashboard, so I think with this, so we could do that. Oh, I guess I should put this in here, huh? Okay, if I can grab it. this and I'll put this list insert in here okay now we'll go to our next thing here it will be a Holly Nichols Last Holly Nichols print, and it is this cute girl holding the donut. So stick that in there. And I just think that it goes well with, um, you know, we have the front here, we have the macaroons and the donut and the date night outfit. So I think that goes well, and that looks good with that pink there. I like that. Okay, so now on the inside here, I think I'm gonna do another piece. This sparkly paper is my thought. Or I could do that on the outside. These couple pictures here, I'm gonna put on here. I have this one as well. I don't really love that one with it. I think it kind of throws it off. It doesn't like that though. Washi tape them down here. And I apologize if my camera keeps moving angles. I'm having the hardest time with my tripod right now. I use a tripod that I bought from Amazon. And I typically have no problems with it, but for some reason it's just not wanting to hold my phone up. It just keeps, my phone keeps sliding out of the little um, thing that it's placed in and so it keeps changing camera angles so I keep having to stop and fix that and it's driving me crazy. So I apologize if I keep switching angles here or things look different. That is why I would love to get a nice camera to shoot videos with but I am new at this and um, you know it's hard to want to go and invest a bunch of money into it if you don't know how long you're, you know you'll be doing it for or any of that so um you know until I feel like this is a hobby that I really want to commit to I definitely don't think I can go and buy a nice camera for it but so far I've loved filming videos it's super fun and it's actually really relaxing to me um this type of film is a little bit more stressful than just like flip throughs and hauls and stuff just because I don't know my creative process is kind of scattered and all over the place 
but it is fun. I enjoy it. I think too, when you're new at anything, it's always a little intimidating. So just bear with me as I kind of figure this whole thing out. And these probably aren't going to be stuck down that well, but that's okay. Just because that washi tape does not hang on to that glitter paper. So I think that's cute, but I can't decide if I want to use that on the inside or the outside. I'm kind of thinking on the outside piece here. So I think I might just go ahead and slip that in there. Sometimes you just have to kind of jimmy these things in here. Maybe this is the one that I didn't cut. You know what it is? Of course, I picked the one that I haven't cut yet. So I'm gonna pull this out. So this is the kind of stuff that makes filming um, on camera a little bit more difficult just because, you know, when stuff like this happens, when you're just sitting by yourself and setting up your um, traveler's notebook, you know, you can be just a little bit more relaxed. You don't have to worry so much about it, but when you're filming and things, don't go right. It's a little bit more difficult. Let me grab this out of here. Okay, put this glue up here. And I, again, got all of these pictures off of Pinterest, just like on um, whatever page that was, that I used the heart balloons. So it's all the same. Try this again and hope that those all stay on there. Did they stay? They're a little crooked. So I do like that. I think that's cute. Something different. Okay, so in this insert, I do use a piece of paper just to have to doodle on or whatever. I ripped off the cover on accident on this. So I think going to put this on here. I did use this in my last setup and I did like it. And then I might take a paper clip. This joy paper clip. Put that there maybe. I actually think I'm going to leave it there. This one was a little flatter. So put that there. I think I'm gonna take these cute date night stickers from my newest addiction and stick those there. I just think those, I don't know, they remind me of very Valentine's type stickers. So I'm gonna do that. And then do I wanna bring red in? I think I might put red right there. I think I might just leave this blank. Or you know what I could. Put that there. That could be cute. And these K's are from Hobby Lobby. They have the whole alphabet. And again, what I do so I don't just stick it down is I leave it on that plastic piece of paper and then I stick it down with some washi tape and then I can reuse it. That way you don't have to buy a new one for every single setup that you use it on. And I don't mind that plastic in there. Okay, hopefully my camera is all good still. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think that's cute. And on the back side here, is a very soft piece of paper. Is that obnoxious with the red too? Maybe not that pink. Uh, my indecisiveness drives me crazy. What is the pink that I used? Right here. This, because I kind of feel like I want to bring the same piece to that. So maybe I'll do that. Okay. So put that in here. If I can. Nice. Of these I could stick in there. Just some 
little fox and pit bows and kind of do that just simple and I'll go through at the end I'll go through everything and say where everything is from and all that because I'm sure I've been sidetracked and not said what certain things are but don't worry I will totally go through it and say what everything is in the end okay so I do have two more strings but I only have right now one more insert I'm trying to kind of figure out what all I want to put in my traveler's notebook um and so for right now I only have five which is totally fine actually that's a lie I did figure it out I chose my spinning tracker because I haven't put this in yet yeah I was trying to figure out I think it was in my last setup what else I wanted to put in my traveler's notebook and I just could not decide but I did end up deciding on putting my spinning tracker in so that's what this is right here so I think I'm gonna use some more acetate just the good old plain gold acetate Of that and I do kind of wish that this was I wonder if I could turn it I think I'm gonna do that the, the inside of this acetate from Michaels um, is like a pinky gold and the other side is more gold gold and I think that looks cuter with that because it's more pink to match that pink paper I think I'll use that for my last insert and I could, I do have another piece of this vellum that I could use. Let's see what that looks like if I put that underneath it. When do I get that? I don't know. Oh gosh, what do I like better? I think I just like it plain to be honest the white there okay so there's that and this is my last one here slip that in and there's that okay so now pockets here I'm gonna use this vellum that I found from Michaels I found this actually like Gosh, when was it? I want to say it was like the beginning of January and I thought that would be perfect for my Valentine's Day setup so I picked up a couple sheets of it and I'm just going to back that with some white piece of paper which I love. I saw um, the Planner Sophisticates video and she actually used the same stuff. So I figured this would be pretty popular for Valentine's Day setups because it's perfect and I think that looks super cute together. So I do like to go through and use the same in the back here. So I'm gonna go through and do this. Okay, so there's that. There's part of me that wants to stick on this, this love clip, or actually I think I might use the joy clip. Stick that right there just for some decoration. Okay, and then here is where I have to get creative because if you guys watched my unboxing video, you guys know that for some reason when I ordered, I did mess up on this. My pockets got switched the wrong way. So fortunately I don't have a card pocket up here, which makes me super sad because I love to decorate the pockets. Um, but oh well, what do you do? So I'm gonna stick that there. This might be too busy. I'd like to cut it down like a little bit. Obviously, yeah, I think that's a little bit too busy. Ah. I could do something with this piece of paper here. Hey right, guys, so we are done setting this baby up and I'm so excited to go through and show you what I have here. I have to apologize, this is a totally different day than when I started filming um, the actual setup of my traveler's notebook. I am a mom and a wife and so it gets a little crazy sometimes and 
I started filming and then had to stop because of family. So I apologize for that, it is a different day. And so I did go through and finish up a couple last minute things that I didn't get on camera. So now I'm just gonna go through and film the float through part of it so you can see um, how it all turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get on into looking through the Traveler's Notebook. Okay, so here is the front page. I love the way this turned out. I knew I was gonna love this um, vellum here. I think it's so pretty and I love the simplicity of it. It's just really nice and simple and I just have it backed by a white piece of paper so it makes it pop a little bit more. And then here I just have my love clip from Green and Lime and then I just cut out a heart from some paper that I did use I think I did use that a couple times in here. Since I don't have a pocket up here, I just like to have some decoration. So yeah, and then this is a Holly Nichols print, and this is just a girl holding the macaroons, and it is just in a Foxy Fix dashboard. I ordered the five by seven Holly Nichols print and just trimmed it down a little bit and stuck it in this dashboard. And yeah, I love it. I think it's super pretty. The color scheme is awesome. I like it. And this is the next page here. This is just a red piece of paper with some red Simply Gilded washi tape. And I just stuck down a, it was actually a greeting card that I kind of trimmed apart and used both the pieces in here. I just wanted them separate. So this is a little card. And then here, if I'm sure everyone has seen the famous acetate from Michaels, it just has gold dots all over it. And then this is just a clip. It's a little pen holder. I want to say it's from bunny plans I've had it in here before but I will link everything I mentioned down below so you guys know where to get it but I think it's bunny plans I just typically like to keep my pen in there there's that and then my first insert here is my weekly insert so I have that and this is the week that we are currently on and this is a paper clip from Katie Joe collections and these two were in a set. It was one of her Valentine's Day, so the red and the uh, or the red and the white one were in a set. So I got those specifically for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Okay, and then the back of that acetate there. And then this and then this page. I'm not sure if I mentioned this when I was filming, um, setting this up, but I was having a rough time with this page. There's actually two pockets in here that I had a hard time with. I just couldn't find something that I love to put in there. I think I did change this up a little bit. I can't quite remember. Um, so if it is different when I'm filming versus flipping through, I just probably change it up a little bit off camera. So yeah, there's that. And this is just a little sticker from one of the Happy Planner books, actually. I think it's like a seasonal one. And then this is just a little Fox and Pip um, bow die cut there. Okay, now this page, I believe this stayed the same. I think I set this up on camera. It's just a sparkly piece of paper. And then here's that same heart paper that I cut that heart out of. Just a little piece of paper with a little picture that I printed off of Pinterest actually. And it's just some heart balloons. Okay, and then here are some more Michael's acetate. And this is kind of the same. It has the po polka dots, but it's just simple white polka dots. I love this one too. I love how simple it is. And then I have just some pink vellum that I believe I got from Michaels. I could be wrong, I could have got this from Hobby Lobby, but I think it was Michaels. And yeah, I thought this was perfect. I, got, I have a couple pieces of this throughout my Traveler's Notebook here. And then this is just my monthly insert, back of that vellum and acetate. And then here, of course, is another Holly Nichols print. Um, I really like this one, I just think it's a cute date night outfit for Valentine's Day. So yeah, I have that in a dashboard. If you guys know any other artists that have similar type artwork to this, you should link it down below for me. I love putting stuff like this in my traveler's notebook and I don't know a ton of other artists. There's one that I actually just found, I can't remember the name of her, I'll try and link her down below, but it's a little bit more, um, I guess you would say unrealistic type of girls, which are really pretty I like. I'm actually gonna put an order in for some of her stuff but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on different people that have really cool artwork, list it down below. I'd love to check them out. Now this dashboard here, this is that card that I was talking about. This is the inside of that card. And then this is the outside. I really like the way this turned out. I think this card's super cute. I love the rose gold in it. I love the way this turned out. I think it is such a good idea to go check your, you know, whether you go to your Target or your Hallmark and look through the card section. 
and look at different cards throughout there. I'd have to turn this down a little bit to make it fit, but I still feel like you can find a lot of cards that you can tr still trim down and have cute artwork on them or whatever you're going for. So, and that's a cheaper way because you can get some cards for, you know, two bucks or whatever. So, so just a cute way to put something in your dashboard. And then I thought this was perfect. This is um, rose gold here. And then this acetate came in the January Planner Society box and that's it's rose gold. So instead of the gold pop polka dots like this page here, it is rose gold. So I thought that was perfect together. So I went ahead and put that over my list insert. This is just a paper clip think from Hobby Lobby and it's just rose gold as well and then this is that Katie Joe collection the little palm there and I am gonna do a video I think this will be my next video that goes up that goes through all of my inserts and how I have them organized and what specifically I use them for and also what inserts I use so that video will be going up after this one and then here's the back of that acetate and then this page I'm almost positive I did change up um, I think I had a completely different paper in the back. I did have this sticker here, but I changed up the sticker sheet here with the paper clip. Um, but I did change out everything else. And then this is just a piece of um, that sparkly paper that I cut out, same as like this front heart. I just cut it out into a heart and stuck that there. I think I had, I don't remember what I had there before. I wanna say I had a die cut of a bow or something. But yeah, I changed that completely. And then this is just a paper blush bar sticker sheet that I think is really pretty. I love all of her stuff. It's so, so pretty. So then in the back here, this is just a piece of paper. I feel like I changed this out too, but I could be wrong. Um, this is just some paper from, I think, Hobby Lobby. And then this is just a little thing I printed out. It's a bow, and it's from a pack that you can buy, and it has paper and die cuts and sayings and like some little girl cutouts, and you can just buy the digital art pack of it and print it off on your own. I'll link them down below because I cannot remember the name of the website right now. But I do believe that the name of it was Felicity. I think I think each pack, they name it a different girl name, so Jane or whatever, and then this one was Felicity. So yeah, I went ahead and printed this out, and this, I mean, I do like this page now. I hated it before, but I like this page. I'm still unsure about this page. I don't hate it, but it's okay. It works for now. I tend to even throughout this month switch things out and put things in if I re receive something new in the mail or if I find something on Pinterest that I like and I want to print out. Sometimes I'll take things and swap them with other things and move them around. So nothing in my traveler's notebook stays um, stationary. I typically change things out as I go just because sometimes, you know, the month is a long time. This month, you know, February is a shorter month, but if I find something cuter, I might switch this out. And if I do, I probably will take pictures of it on my Instagram and post it on there. So I'll link my Instagram down below so you guys can look at all the photos that I post throughout the month. And then this is some more acetate from Michaels and it just has some words on it. Adventurous, delight, um, let's see what else, moments, today. So yeah, just a bunch of different sayings on there. And then here is some more of that pink vellum. And then I also have another list insert right here in the back of that vellum and acetate. I'm sick, guys, so I'm sorry if I keep sniffling and clearing my throat. <clears> throat> I'll try and cut that part out of the video, but I am sick and it's driving me crazy, so I'm trying to just get through this video here. This is another Holly Nichols print. I love this one. I think it's so cute. Again, I think I did mention this before, but in actually all of yeah, all of my Holly Nichols prints this month, they are all girls with brown hair. And I mean, I love brown hair, I'm a hairdresser, but I am a blonde myself. So I do wish I could have customized them and changed them to blonde hair just because I prefer to have them in blonde in my traveler's notebook since it, I, you know, not that it's representing me, but you know, it is my traveler's notebook and I am blonde. So I like the girls to have blonde when I put them in here. I still love this print, I think it's super cute. She's just holding a little donut I think it goes with the uh, kind of I have the macaroons in the front and the pink valentine so I love this one just a red piece of paper with these monogram names here which I'm sure everybody has seen at this point from Hobby Lobby and then this is just some gold paper I don't know if I got this from Hobby Lobby or from Michaels 
It's always hard to it's always hard to remember which one you got it from. But yeah, it's just some like cardstock type thick paper with some foiled gold hearts. And then this is just some my newest addiction. I actually meant to cut that off, but my newest addiction stickers, date night. I thought that was kind of suited for Valentine's Day. And then this is that same paper clip you guys have seen. It's the coffee cup from Green and Lime. In the back of that paper and this is again another one of those dashboards it's on the inside so it's okay but I don't love this one I put uh, my cut down a little sheet of fox and pip bow paper clips and then this little fox and pip which I'm sure you guys have seen it's a planner it says that's why my planner is so big it's full of secrets which I think is so cute I just I don't know I don't I don't love this page for some reason this is probably my least favorite page so again I might switch this out throughout the month so we will see this page I think is super cute. This is just some of that sparkly paper. And I just printed off some more pictures from, from Pinterest. Sometimes I like to put personal pictures, you know, of me and my daughter, me and my husband in here. But this time I just wanted to, to be very, you know, soft pinks and very girly in the sense of flowers and macaroons and all that. So I love this. I love the way this dashboard board turned out. And then this is that same actual gold acetate. But what's cool is the inside of it is more rose gold. So I thought that matched the kind of pink sparkly paper there and yeah so that back side of that is cool and then this is that joy paper clip which I think you guys have seen from green and lime as well and again I just cut out another part from some of that paper that I have left over this clip here is from K&Co XO it is the it is the large paper clip with rose gold and just a little white flower. I love this one. I think it's so cute. This was actually my first order from Kane Co. XO. She has such cute stuff. I was really hoping when I ordered from her that she had just single paper clips like this, the big ones in gold or rose gold, really whatever color. I really wanted some, mainly in gold, but I would have taken what I could have gotten, but she didn't have any in the shop. So I've just been keeping my eye open for some of the large paper clip from her because I love, I think they're so cute. It's a really good way to flip through the pages and to mark your pages. So yeah, I'll be keeping my eye out for those. And then this is my spending tracker insert. And here is the last page here. And here we just have the back of that acetate that has that more pinky polka dots on there, a paper clip here, and then some more stickers from Paper Blush Bar, and they are just little bow lattes is what she calls them, which I think are really pretty and simple. And that same paper that's in the front because I like to carry that's in the front to the back as well to make it nice and cohesive and then here this is actually pretty much the same from I forget what setup it was of mine but I had made this previously to go with a setup I just changed out some of the washies and then I cut out another little heart here so and I had a hard time decorating this back pocket as well I'm not totally used to decorating pockets I haven't quite mastered it yet so it's just really simple Let's see if that grows with us as well so yeah this is my february traveler's notebook setup i hope you guys enjoyed it i love the way it turned out i love all the pinks in there i think it's really pretty and fun and it's kind of nice to get away from the more darker colors from winter and all that so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video so don't forget to head on over to instagram and add me so you can keep up to date with everything that's going on throughout the month with me and keep up on the pictures that i post if anything tra changes in my traveler's notebook, I'll try and post that on there. And I try and stay active on there. Sometimes it's harder, like I said, I'm a mom, so I'm not on there every day, but I do try and post some stuff throughout the week and the whole month. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys did like watching the full setup, then let me know. I do, do apologize, it might be kind of hectic just because I was trying to hurry up and film it before my husband and my daughter got home. and. I got interrupted and then had to start a whole different day and finish it so I hope that it's not too hectic but if you guys do like this kind of a video just let me know and I will try and practice at it so I can get a little bit better with the whole filming process I did have a lot of fun filming this type of video it's kind of fun to set it up on camera and whatnot so just let me know down below and if you don't like it then let me know too and I can just in future do flip throughs once it's all set up and complete so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys next time Bye.